All right, y'all. Adventure Brad and Shackleton Wild Explorer. It's gonna be on the wild today. Oh, rain coming. Had rain all night. We uh, down from San Diego. And uh, all the released in. I'm just gonna tell you guys where I work because then all of a sudden you'll hit me up. Um, but yeah, I got a new model release in, so I'm just gonna with that. And I was gonna do uh, the Bradshaw Trail on back to Arizona, but for some reason I decided to turn up Purdue Canyon last night, uh, mainly because again, sniffing sites, everything's just all up in the desert. I'm not a bunch of whoops all afternoon. We can't be here. Uh, so yeah, we turned up Purdue Canyon. So now we're on Joshua Tree. And this is a spot I haven't been before called Squaw Tank. And it's uh, obviously squaws who make that van. But look, look at the early, like they kind of knew something about geometry because the, the, the shape that points upstream is the water pressure holds on. Normally that corner that's there, that other corner would be squared into the rock, not have that dog leg. Um, so that way as the water pressure hits it, it forces it into the rock and keeps a cement under compression because cement likes compression, it doesn't like tension. So anyways, I always like little, little engineering things. Hey, little engineer, shackle, dude. It's getting pretty annoying how brave he is. So let's walk down here. And he would think that in this nice wet sand, you would be able to see like puppy prints. No, you really don't. Uh -uh. I guess I'm not going there, but the wall's the one right there. Uh, I don't know the significance of this. Um, I had Starlink on a few minutes this morning looking around on maps, but I didn't do any research like me. I don't ever do research. I just wander and, oh, let's go that trail or let's go that way. So right now we're just gonna go this way and follow the high plane sniffer and see where he's doing, checking out. Dun, 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 dun. The tree is certainly a, a neat place just to wander around, take your kids, ramble. Um, yeah. <laughs> we just ended back up in this nice little back corner. This, this is just neat. It would be so easy to you know, corral up a couple cattle or horses or something like that as you're traveling, spend the night. But then, you know, these spots aren't a dime a dozen. Oh, so this is the other way back. That's just a little fork around. So, man, when this is full, there's a decent amount of water in here. But I only bet it does it after flash floods. But right now, we're in a real particularly not smart place to be. Um, obviously, downstream of where a flash flood could potentially be. He's really getting the idea he's leading, right? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, you're following. That backside of the tank, a little sandpoint drain. You'll see that a lot. You'll see that uh, with those hot dams as kids. You would take a uh, piece of inch pipe and all those things. Bury that at the bottom of your dam. Oh. The bag shackle stuff's gonna stay here for the birds. Uh, and then take a basketball with you every time you want to go for a swim. Hold the basketball underwater for a couple minutes until it gets water pressure on top of it. It's cold, but then when now you leave, you can put a dam on the That's handy. Oh. But yeah, when I was coming up Purdue Canyon last night, I stopped and I love Starlink for traveling. It's just pretty awesome. I need to set up down a little quicker. But uh stop with the satellite. Uh, one X maps or one yeah one X maps is what we use. Black X I don't know what I mean that but now it's good for four wheelers. Thirty dollars a year. <coughs> Set the trails on time. Danger 
trees up. Rise is starting to go through the narrow, like, so I stopped beforehand. Looked, uh, uh, Starlink, looked at it, figured I had just about two hours before the rain was going to hit. And yeah, just as I topped out the narrows through the top of Duperu Canyon, it started sprinkling. And then when I got to the top, it started raining. It's like, whoa, just in time. But And the rain was coming from behind me, too. It wasn't in front of me. But yeah, flash floods are a real danger in the desert, even if it's not. Hey, come here. Hey. Hey. See, he don't know where I am. Good boy. Stay here. Uh, yeah, you just got to be very mindful of that. I remember as a kid being stuck in one. I got stuck in with the old man, Bucky Ray. Uh, yeah, good. Good. Yeah, not good times. Uh, that was a little screwy. But anyways, yeah, just be mindful of flash floods and potentials and that sort of thing. But assuming all these rocks collect that water table and that's what feeds the squat tank. And I'm wandering around. Yeah, you can't beat this decomposing grammar. It's all like smooth and yeah, buddy. And then the like somewhere like this, a little bit of water gets down between it and a crack, freezes, expands, thaws out in the summer, freezes, expands over and over. Desert rat makes a good work with the spot, you know. Life finds a way. But yeah, I love watching how you know entropy is a is a thing and it's neat how it all happens. Uh, so this must be the main channel that feeds the water. here all day folks. But I think I'm gonna check out and go wander a little more. Yeah so this is really what I mean for the wander. Um, we looped back up and around those rocks and came back down. And I don't know what it is but that plant under that boulder that looks like it's gonna fall on my head looks different than the rest of the plants around here. So I want to go see why there's a different plant. Hey! Hawk bait! Shackle! Hey! Come here! I really starting to worry about him more. He just wanders off like that and gets lost. I can't see him. And he's an idiot, so he'll get scared and run fast, thinking he's going in the right direction. Before I know it, he'll be two miles away and fucking gone. Dude! Shackle? Come here. Stay here, man. Come on. He just looks at me like, why don't you go as fast? Because I'm not an 18 month old puppy. Yeah, you hear that barking? That was a coyote. That was coyote yips. Probably seeing your ass running around like an idiot. Come here. Let's investigate this rock. Looks like it's gonna squish us. Yeah, such a trip, ain't it? Just literally get right under this rock. That was a plant that caught my eye from a distance. It is some sort of different little plant. Holy, that this rock's right. I don't know, under, know if you guys really grasp how that rock is like still there. <laughs> wow. Eh. But then I jumped under that snow corner one time we found a, a rock up on the side of a hill. Uh, where that creek is north of Dumont, we were up jeeping up in the air. Up there. We spent most of the day with a group of us kids trying to pull that thing off. And we thought literally we were going up there. We thought we were just going to go up for a couple of us and on it. Stuck there a little better than you think. And again, you always see these things caught on tape. Oh, it does happen. They done one at uh, Monument Valley. That's the whole thing sloughed off like it was a big cab off an ice cream. You guys look that one up. Uh, yeah, the photographer. 
Cooper just happened to catch it. It was set up, ready to do it, just in time. Anyways, we're gonna head back to the truck and uh, head back over to some more of these rocks. So I just spotted these as I got back to the truck. And I'm gonna run them out. I'm assuming this at one point. This sort of cap it off. I stomped it. It didn't feel hollow, but it's also 38 inch wide. This thing here too. I'm wondering if it was some sort of government well or something at the time. Or the turn of the century, you see a lot of cattle or whatever. There's a lot of those put in. Um, anyways, water table fell drastically because, uh, yeah, humans drink a lot of water. We waste a lot of water. But, anyways, so look at this. I can't ever go straight. It's like, well, squirrel, what's over here? It's like a nice, dandy up spot to have a vampire. Except for, obviously, it, you know, it looks like, you know, oh, this would be the spot to hide in the weather, but I almost pointed it out in the last rock. All this wetness. Put your fire right there. Right where everything's dripping. Where, yeah, none of this. Sometimes those spots that are like, oh, cool little shelter. Yeah, they're not. It's, it's not not what you think it is uh, sometimes. But, anyways, off the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. All right, guys, Shackleton, the little Lakey Explorer, and myself, thanks again for joining along. I believe we have now found the highway, Insanity, and Arby's, and yeah. I'm gonna get on out of here and uh, head back to the pad, I think. It looks like it's gonna be a rainy, messed up day, so uh, I'm not super big on the you know, we might stop somewhere else and explore. And if we do, you'll get to see it. And if not, we'll see you guys on the next adventure.